Hey guys, it's James from gigapress.net. Today we're going to be learning how to fix the failed to load resource error in WordPress. First, you need to understand the common reasons why you might be seeing this error. This error message, failed to load resource, the server responded with a status of 403 forbidden, simply means that server permissions are blocking access to these files or refusing to allow you to access a particular resource. This can happen for various reasons, but some might be because of incorrect file permissions, overzealous security plugins, or it might be your browser's cache. So let's dive into some steps you can take to fix this error. First, check file permissions. You can use an FTP client or your hosting provider's file manager. In this case, I'm going to use FileZilla. The first step is to check the file permissions for the resource that failed to load. Then, navigate to the file, right-click, and select File Permissions. Make sure that the numeric value is set to 644 for files and 755 for directories. Second, disable security plugins. If you're running a WordPress site and encountering this error, it might be due to security plugins. Temporarily disable these plugins to see if that resolves the issue. Go to your WordPress dashboard, navigate to Plugins, and deactivate any security plugins you have installed. Once done, check if it fixes the error. The third solution, clear the browser cache and server cache. Here's how you can do it. Open your browser. Here, I'm using Chrome. Now, click on the three dots in the upper right corner. Go to Settings, then click on Privacy and Security. Then select Delete Browsing Data. Make sure to select Cookies and Other Site Data and Cached Images and Files. Then click Clear Data. If you're using a caching plugin on your site, you may also want to purge your site's cache through the plugin settings. Go to the WordPress dashboard, navigate to Plugins, then find your caching plugin and look for the settings to clear the cache. If none of these solutions work, it might be time to contact your hosting provider. They can help identify if there's a server side issue causing the 403 error. Explain the issue to them and provide any relevant details. They should be able to assist you in resolving the problem. And that's it! By following these steps, you should be able to resolve this issue quickly and get back to running your website smoothly. For more WordPress tutorials, our free WordPress masterclass, and fast and reliable web hosting, visit gigapress.net. Thank you, and see you next time.